Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to get back the classic Space Cadet game that most of us are familiar with from the Windows XP days. So, I'm going to show you guys a third party application that's pretty much the exact same game that we are familiar with. And I'm going to have a link in the description of my video to this website here. So, we're going to just download the file from it. So on this page, you just want to select where it says first download the 3D Space Cadet file. Just left click on that. Should download it right to wherever your downloads folder is on your browser. So depending on what web browser you're using, it might look a little different. But we're using Google Chrome for this tutorial. So we can minimize out of our web browser at this time. If you get an open file notice, just left click on run. You will have to press install and you can see it's going to save it in the program files folder here. So program files Microsoft games, you can change that if you choose to do so. And then if you see any pop-ups, just want to select yes. And this file does appear to be saved. I didn't see any unusual behavior with it, so it should be perfectly fine to run on your computer. It does create a desktop icon, as well as if you search for it in the start menu search, you'll find it that way as well. So if we just decide to open up Pinball here, and there you go, 3D Pinball has been installed on our computer. So back from the uh, Windows XP days, it has come. And I believe even Windows 2000. So. We are just going to wait for it to load up here for a second, and you can see it gets you into a windowed view, so you can minimize it if you want to. And it doesn't really give you too many options to maximize it, it appears, or stretch out the view, but this should be more than enough for most of you guys, just based on the nostalgia factor alone. So, I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out, and as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.